Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? And for those of you that are new to my channel, my name's Mayday, and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and like the video for the YouTube algorithm as well. And join the Mayday family. Really consider joining our family. So, Rihanna is now a billionaire. Forbes announced this on Wednesday that Rihanna is now part of the Billionaires Club. Rihanna has entered the Billionaires Club. She's a billionaire. And things are starting to come up, much like they always do. The richer you get, the more problems, right? So more money, more problems. So the latest on the block is that Rihanna does not pay her ambassadors. And so you have people saying things such as, how is Rihanna not gonna be rich? Of course she's a billionaire, she doesn't pay her ambassadors. And what's happening is a lot of Rihanna's wealth actually comes from Fenty Beauty, which is her very inclusive makeup line, and also her lingerie collection. Her clothing line alone is at a billion dollars, as well over a billion dollars as far as how much it's worth. So the evaluation on the clothing line is, well, is at well over a billion dollars. So a lot of uh, ambassadors have come out and now are saying like, well, of course, you know, of course it is. She doesn't pay her, her ambassadors. Well, from a mental health perspective and a psychological and therapeutic perspective, listen, this is how business goes, right? So you are not being forced to sign this contract. You're not being forced to wear the clothing line, right? So you can essentially sleep at night if you choose to not promote. Uh, the clothing line, or if you choose to not promote Fenty Beauty or whatever the case may be, people are taken on to Twitter to comment about this. So the question then becomes, I mean, should we feel bad for these ambassadors? In my opinion, no, because if you get a contract, it says nothing about getting paid, then don't do it. Don't take the contract. But people take the contract anyway, because Perhaps they want the free clothing because surely they're not giving the clothing back once they wear it. They're not giving the lingerie back once they wear it. So essentially the payment or the form of payment that they're getting is in the form of free clothing and free things. So if that's enough for you and you agree to do it, then you don't really have a leg to stand on as far as complaining about that. Does that make sense? Another thing to keep in mind is that a lot of rich people, most rich people are rich for a reason. <laughs> and a lot of them are rich because, yeah, a lot of times they don't pay people or other people or they pay as cheap as they can get the labor to be, right? They, 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 are, they are pretty cheap when it comes to giving others money in any way, shape or form, even if it, even if that means paying for services that they need done. So you as an ambassador need to evaluate how much you think you're worth. And if you feel like free clothing is enough for you, then that's on you, you know? So I'm not sure why you're taking on Twitter to complain about that. It's a free country. And if you didn't want to do it, then you shouldn't have done it. If you didn't want to do it without actually getting paid, then you shouldn't have done it. And I think also that Rihanna probably does pay uh, the people that help promote her lingerie, but she pays the ones that are a lot more famous, right? So really, really big stars. That's kind of my take on it. I think that, you know, from a psychological and mental health perspective, we need to definitely remember our worth and what we feel like we're worth. And one good way of doing that is by asking ourselves, is this something that we're going to be salty about or we're going to be mad about if we do accept it and not compromising ourselves so that way we can sleep at night knowing that we didn't compromise ourselves in any way and compromise our worth from our perspective in any way. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think that the ambassadors have a reason to be mad? Do you think they have a reason to complain? Do you think they have a right to complain? What are your thoughts? Do you think I missed something? 
missed a particular perspective what do you think i don't know but that's just kind of where i'm at as of right now with this if you guys haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't liked the video go ahead and like the video for the youtube algorithm as well and join the mayday family really consider joining our family <laughs>